Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Couple legends. So, and Pep is here. Good morning. Yeah. You could, you could, <laughs> could, <laughs> listen, when y'all, before y'all came out, he kept being like, So, and Pep is here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we stop. How are y'all this morning? Good, good, good. good. We're working hard, a little tired, but it's good. We're blessed. For yes. sure. You guys just celebrated 30 years in the We're game. Where is coming up. 2016. Wow. 2016. I didn't yeah. even want to embrace that at first because mm-hmm. I was like, man, that's a long time. But I said, you know what? It really is something to be celebrated. Age is a blessing, man. You know, the <laughs> alternative could be death. We still here. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, <laughs> right. that's what I say. Word. Every day yeah. above ground is a good day. Absolutely. That's my motto. Yes, it is. You guys are still good? Y'all friends or... Oh, yeah, it's yeah. just a business <laughs> arrangement. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, I seen no. the reality show. Y'all had some ups and downs, yeah, and business we, wise, right? And we worked it through. And right. I see, we learned that communication is the key. We didn't yeah. have that in the beginning. Um, you know, just, but what friendship doesn't have issues, right? What sisters? What you know, is family? Family, yeah. And it's really it hard out. to do business with family sometimes too when you're tight as friends, but y'all still trying to do business. Uh-huh. And I know I saw on the show, so I had her family, her marriage, and. Peppa was like, I want to go on the road. We want to work. <laughs> yeah. She got me. Peppa still want to pop that phone <laughs> She got me. What was that, Charlotte? <laughs> what was that terrible dance? <laughs> so, you, so you didn't want to talk oh, Can we see that again? No. Do it again. <laughs> Show us how you pop your poom poom, Charlotte. It was quite entertaining. <laughs> so you didn't want to talk anymore. I didn't. I was home. Uh, you know what I needed at that point in my life? Some normalcy. Mm-hmm. People don't realize we've been doing this since we were like 18, 19 years old. Salt and Pepper never struggled. It was like a train ride to success. Mm-hmm. It never stopped international traveling. And I just got to a point in my life where I felt overwhelmed. We were not getting along at all. We had no communication skills. It was all about lawyers and money and it just started personally getting to me i said you know what before i shave my head bald like britney spears (laughs) let me go sit down for a minute and i just went home and i had another baby and i just lived a normal life and raised my family with my husband and then I got bored. <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it was my faith is what I depended on mm-hmm. while I was going through that situation. It's what got me through. I was really in a bad place. You know, I was not happy. I was depressed. A lot of stuff was going on with me that people don't even know about. And I felt like I needed to hold on to my faith to get me through. And that's right. what got me through. That's what gets me through even now to this day is that I believe, you know. I don't feel like I can do anything without my belief and my faith. How do you pick and choose what you want to do based on faith? Like, do you pray on it? or I pray on it. I think about it. You know what? When you when you first um, give your life to Christ, it, it can be an extreme, you know, because it's such a safe place. Mm-hmm. And you can, it's, it's like a process organically of growing and balancing and figuring out where you fit, mm-hmm. you know, with your belief and what what you do. And so for me, it's like a we talk about it, me and Pep about, you know, when I have reservations about stuff and we work through and there's some things I'm just not going to do, you know, that I mm-hmm. feel is too much of a compromise for me, but it's not easy, you know, it really isn't. Now Pep, does she push religion on you? Does she text you Bible scriptures? And <laughs> stuff no, like she don't push religion. I mean, in the beginning, I feel like when she, you know, when she was getting into it and a lot and her transitioning was a little you know, abrupt, abrupt, <laughs> you know, trying to, you know, making everyone understand and, you know, but, it, you know, it was fine for me. I mean, I'm not a heathen or anything. I do go to church. <laughs> I mean, I'm right. I mean, I get the whole God thing. You know? I understand I get it. it's God, God. I know, I understand God, God, you know. So, I mean, I, I'm cool with it, but yes, for me, the business is all I knew. Like she said, we did it from 17, 18. Um, Can y'all still do songs like Tramp? We do all our We songs. do all okay, our songs. Good. At one point, you didn't yeah, want to do them. We going to get booed off the stage. Yeah, if I'm going... No come on, imagine <laughs> we walk out, I ain't doing push it. I mean, we wouldn't be out here. We are out yeah, here performing it. like crazy. It's almost like it's the 90s. It's really kind of mm-hmm. weird. It's, it's tripping us out right now. Yeah, I looked at your tour schedule <laughs> January. Y'all loaded next year. <laughs> and we're, no, we're booked all loaded. the way. We're always booked a year ahead. We've been loaded for the last eight, crazy. nine years. Right. Straight. Yeah. We stopped 
Mm-hmm. Our we decided to just do weekends like a like a Thursday, cause we'll have no life. Mm-hmm. Who's want to go to road every single day? Mm-hmm. And you know you what? Know? Exhaust and yourself. getting good money. Right. I keep I keep going. Okay, we raising the price, thinking they're gonna be like, nah. They're like, we got the it. Price, they get, we'll we'll pay it. So <laughs> you know, it's it's amazing for us right now. Who's Cinderella? She, um, she, she lives, lives in Dallas, Dallas okay. but she's on the road with us mm-hmm. again. It's yeah. nice, yeah. She's back. With us. Y'all started off kind of doing a diss song, coming in the game like that. Do y'all still appreciate listening to like diss tracks and be like, "Oh, we got him." Oh, you know what? My son just put me on. I'm late, and this is going to sound Meek. real lame. <laughs> Meek and Drake. You just found out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, she oh, just got up on me. I know. We know you on the road. I'm Come keeping on. it real, though. My son, he's 16. He was like, yo, kid, listen to this. Like, you need to understand what's going on in hip hop right now. This Because this is getting ridiculous. You do an interview. You got that me. was like a couple of months ago. Okay. It wasn't yesterday. I'm glad you laid on it. Because that was top no. priority for you. I'd be like, you no. might need to realize that. No. No, no. Like, let me tell you the funny. Unique. Wait, let me tell you the funny thing that she did on stage one time, and I was like, please oh, don't, God. don't do that again. <laughs> we was on stage and everything, and she was like, "Turn up for what?" You know? <laughs> turn down. No, it's turned down. And down. she said it in the mic. I she said was it like, in the mic. Like it's, it's turned down, Cheryl. She's like, hey. <laughs> she said, "Don't do that." But the audience I'm knows. Like, don't do that. No they know our personality, <laughs> so they right. all crack up at they the same that. time. Well, I said like it in the mic. I was like, "Don't do that." How did, how did the showstopper come about? Was it like a planned diss where y'all collaborated like with Dougie Fresh? Like, we going to diss you? Yeah, we did it on purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, Roxanne Shantae had it's her. just with Dougie yesterday, too. She had this UTFO. And back then, that was how you got your foot in the door, <laughs> right. you know? And I feel like that is the way that the door opened for us because a lot of nerve. Who are these girls, first of all? I mean, it's from slick Out of nowhere. It's Slick these Rick girls and that Dougie work at Daddy, You know? <laughs> and went in on them and (laughs) after that we were actually in college working at Sears (laughs) and doing shows on the weekends yeah we would telephone solicitors at Sears with Mark Lawrence Kid and Play Play. Salt and Pepper Herbie Love we all all worked together together. wow that's a sitcom that's a movie wow (laughs) y'all might want to go back and make that into a TV show yeah Mark Mark Lawrence and Kid and Play he yes. came from DC, oh, I but then yeah he came from DC, but that was his first job, you know. <laughs> and then he was like little cubicle, yeah, like <laughs> outlier stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you ever read the outliers book? It's like certain people meet at certain points in their life, and yeah. they all go on to do like yeah. kind of yeah. the same thing. We always say the stars just lined up for us. Like right now, that's what I said. Things are just lining up for us in a crazy way. Like whatever we say we want right now in this season, it's it's happening. Mm-hmm. Like we're doing the cooking show. We've been pursuing the cooking show for a few years, but particularly right now, the pilot is coming out on December 17th. On the it, cooking channel. On yeah. the cooking channel. That seems like a no-brainer. Yeah. seems like y'all should have your own season yeah. and everything. <laughs> and hello. Yeah. We, we, we got hot sauce, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all gotta have some seasonings, too. Now, how did y'all meet? No, y'all Jamaican. We met in, in school. <laughs> she always say that. I'm Jamaican. <laughs> like, that's an excuse for everything. <laughs> she get rude. I'm Jamaican. She say something wrong, like her grandma. I'm Jamaican. I'm Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> she like spicy food. I'm Jamaican. I'm Jamaican. Yeah. So we met, we met in what school. The, and what was the original name of the group? Or was it always Salt and Pepper? It was Super Nature. Nature. Hated yeah. it. And then, it. And then <laughs> we, did a, we did a verse um, where we said we go, go together, together like, like salt and pepper and people started calling us salt and pepper so we, we was like yes like, that's it that's and we better. are that's the it. yin and the yang you know it's so ironic we're so much alike in so many ways but, but then we we're the opposite. total extreme opposite so we go at it <laughs> you know did y'all get on? Yeah, y'all had to get we on had no fight. fist no fight fights. let what? me tell you why because people call her the bruiser I am no fool <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to have no fist Pepper fight will beat me like a man <laughs> <laughs> and she's gotten in my face before and I'm like you got, <laughs> it. You got it I'm not stupid and I think if that ever happened I, I don't think we though. would be together no. I love her though That's really if it ever came to fist I don't no. know, think we'd be together We let me tell you right now we on some like we we will have an argument and a heated argument and y'all wouldn't even know because we sitting here like mm-hmm. oh okay and, and like, we'll just say that, like right, right. y'all be we'll talking think, us for shading each other yeah right. but yeah, yeah. and we'll like we'll know we piss at each other right now by just little things we're too sensitive to each other's feelings it's annoying <laughs> it really it's like is another relationship she gets under my that. skin I like it's like a marriage else. I was like you gotta understand that this mm-hmm. is like a marriage you, you know? I gotta go home and go it's not that serious it's not that serious like y'all know how to know each other but you know how to get over it yeah, yeah at what point do. did y'all period start synchronizing 
Because y'all spend so much time. Yeah, it cool. <laughs> does. It really does. But listen to her serious, serious, serious. answering the question. <laughs> it's true. She's like, it does. <laughs> it really She's like, I'm does. Jamaican. I'm Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> Because that's when you know y'all close, close, for real. Yeah. There's the, we don't know when it first happened, oh. Charlamagne. Oh. I think that's irrelevant. All well, three of us are coming at the same time. Shut up. Ah, you tell me now, now, when y'all started in hip-hop, like, hip-hop was considered a fad. Was it hard for people to take y'all serious? Yeah, especially being women. I mean, it's still a male-dominated field. I mean, they always thought we was going to be, like, an overnight success, you know, but we kept coming with the hits. Dang and us. Yes. That but was a was, regular question. Yeah, because for us, you know what? We were making those crossover songs back then and pop. And so back Before then, it was popular. Right. So back then, it was... Right, before it was popping. So everybody was like, oh, selling out. you selling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. So I'm Pepper went through that. We, they <laughs> we tried to make a couple out. of hard joints. It didn't work out for us. <laughs> what, hard joints, what hard joints did y'all have? <laughs> you know what? People I like, like my mic. That was, that was my song. Um, I'll Take Your Man was pretty hard. Okay. But we feel like we brought fun fashion and femininity to hip hop. And a okay, lot of women, was, right. you know, <laughs> identify with that. We're fun around the way girls. And I think that's what it was for us. Yeah, that I was had like our the best legacy. outfits. The clothes, I remember you the had hair. the um, shirt that was like, remember the long shirt in the front that um, came oh, up, right? Remember the, <laughs> the shoe, the shoe, wearing, the shoe, the shoe, the shoe outfit. Everybody was wearing that. <laughs> you got that at Rainbow. Yo, our push I boots was from Favor. <laughs> <laughs> from Favor. Our push boots was from Favor. That's when we were styling ourselves. There was no stylist, no hair, or no makeup. I remember y'all had like, shirt kings stuff, and queens. Shop, the colorful um, leather jackets that y'all had. Um, <laughs> well, Play Play design, okay, he designed those. He designed it, and Dapper Dan made, made it. it. Yeah. Dapper what did your Dan. Mom say about all the lyrics at first? I mean, y'all had Push It and Tramp, and I know your moms wouldn't love that. Um, they didn't care. My mother just was scared, scared about the whole thing. You know, I don't, I don't think she ever really got into yeah. my lyrics. She just didn't get it. Period. Probably know what rap yeah. was. Probably want y'all to be nurses or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, we were in school, and we, we were quit in school. school, so they were like, "What?" Mm -hmm. But I always knew. I, I still, always knew. I still have a loan. She was the one like, you You can quit now. I was still going to school. Because why? I'm Jamaican. You know Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> you got several things at work. You got things. You got to go to school. You be like, what? I quit school for what? <laughs> I was like, okay. And then she was like, Pep, you could quit school now. Mm -hmm. I think I still own a loan somewhere. I think it's safe. Yeah. But you guys were kind of, and not even trying to do it, but feminists pretty much early on. Yeah. Like even doing a song like Tramp where you're calling men tramps. Or doing a song like "Let's Talk About Sex." Yeah, so we just had a white or girl none of your bit. Yeah. yeah, a white girl came in. And we was like, she was like, "Who y'all got today?" We was like, "Salt and Pepper." She was like, "That's my oh, go-to that's my song, karaoke I, I, song." I do none of my none of your none of my business at all. My karaoke. Yeah. But that really is like the a white song. folks love none of your business. <laughs> they do. <too. laughs> I didn't have no idea. No. <laughs> but you know, that's if I want to take a song, guy home with me tonight. Yeah. And that's kind of what people are saying nowadays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? We were edgy. It, we definitely were edgy. I mean, in comparison to what's going on I right don't now. Know that's edgy anymore. We're a little but. Disney. <laughs> it kind of, but it is like a big debate now, I feel like. You know, mm -hmm. when they do things like the slut walk and slut shaming and they talk about stuff like that, like don't judge me based yeah. on, you mm -hmm. know, what I'm doing. In a way, it's like, it's none of your business. It's that song. It really it's, is. Yeah. Look. <laughs> 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 okay. Cat out the bag. <laughs> Cat out the bag. I don't do that song in the show. <laughs> That's a problem for us. Really? Because I don't. But I don't. don't quit, do I don't bother her about it. I don't say anything. I have to be honest. I really didn't want to record the song, and I wasn't really in a place where I could really, you know, be that aggressive to go against, you know, what everybody wanted. Mm -hmm. But certain lyrics in that song for me, if she want to be a freak and sell it on the weekend, is not anything that I believe in or stand for or think is good to say to young women. So I have a problem with that song. That's, yeah, I, that's actually prostitution. Exactly. <laughs> You're encouraging prostitution. Yeah. If you want to go to Dubai and get shit on. Yes. So you argued that from the beginning, from when you first heard I it? I was resistant to it. You know there's a part in the song where I'm justifying what I'm saying by saying it God does. can only judge. It's something at the end that's like kind of cleaning it up. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, can I at least, at least say that, that at the right. end, you know? But it's just not a song I'm comfortable with because, like you song? said, that was a and song. And got a Grammy for that song. Yeah, that song. and people to this day they relate it to like what you're saying. Mm -hmm. They keep put using that song as, you know, an answer like it's none of your business right. and and, but it's that's still part of the the song that's 
not good. <laughs> Don't go that's sell still, it on the weekend, yeah, ladies. Right. That's the only part. It's so sad. It's not like your the, business till you I get like arrested. I like the way Charlemagne <laughs> said it. He said yeah, it's, it's prostitution. Not, yeah, yeah, that right. part I mean, you can't. I'm still, not even, you can't. I can't even like skate around that. That's what it is. But I'm fine. I don't. <laughs> say anything about that song. Yeah. I mean, I just know the fans. We make a joke. We like, don't you? Because somebody mentioned that once they got their soul hurt. No, they so mentioned made, it a few times. They no, kept, but I'm somebody on the road <laughs> kept trying to get me to do that song until I they got, I went off on them. But it was <laughs> over a period of, yo, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. And to this day, so they, they feel it. really hurt because I, I I just got frustrated. You lashed out. Like, leave me alone yeah. about that song. No, she lashed out. So we all, so when a fan come up, oh my god, I thought we was waiting for none of your business. And we're like, shh, don't you say that. Don't. <laughs> don't you know what know. kind of mood she's in? Now, when y'all won y'all Grammy, did y'all attend the ceremony? Because I remember it was a boycott in '88 that y'all was a part of, right? Of oh yeah. yeah, with Fred, with um Will Smith, Will Smith and, and Flavor and Chuck and everybody. Yeah, we were boycotting. But the then when I was came up, we was like, oh shoot. No. <laughs> Well, by that That's time, <laughs> we were just talking about no, that. No, by that no. time, it became, it, became, a it became a category. It became a category. And it, it was, was a category it was that was a... a result of that protest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You we see were results. activists. <laughs> Power to the people. So, so that protest actually worked? The Grammys yeah, yeah, it really did work. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the Grammys, though? Because we were having a debate up here about, you know, people are excited. Kendrick got nominated for 11 awards, but... You know, previously people would protest and say, okay, these don't mean anything, and why do we care so much about it? What do you think about the Grammys? Well, I think the Grammys are important. I mean, I mean, it's right up there with the rest of your accomplishment and mm-hmm. having your music heard and what you your contribution and your worth to this. So, I mean, I'm all for it. I mean, it's, I just don't like a lot of it is political. It is. I, it, I mean, it is, but isn't... But we still like things. having one. Every award show. <laughs> Y'all admit to I that. I don't like getting. people be like, screw the Grammys. When they don't get nominated, the things don't go their way. But as soon as they get some crumbs off the table, they're like, yeah. hey, yeah. <laughs> no, we say we yeah. are the Grammy Award winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's in all our bio, dog. <laughs> no, I always wondered, were you, were you guys presented with the same opportunities as like other male groups? Because I always think of Kid and Play, and Kid and Play had like, cartoons and movies and I feel like that's the lane y'all should have been in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. I'm I don't know. I don't think we really went as hard as we could have for for all those things back then. A lot of a lot of it has to do with management and you know, your camp, your team. I didn't have the same team. I thought you had the same management. I thought it was the same guy that managed No, it but... wasn't the same okay. management. Oh. Herbie I mean... was the same producer. Gotcha. Herbie Lovebug. He produced uh, Salt and Pepper, Kwame, Kid and Play and Dana Dane. But not the same manager. I mean, we didn't pursue that. Like mm-hmm. that was y'all the whole probably could have made it happen. Yeah, well, we did. Yeah. I mean, we did like Cover Girl, and we mm-hmm. did Victoria's Secrets, and we did all of those we things. Always we always on the road. We have international success. We we're in. We from day one, we've been in Europe and still go to Europe, and so we were kind of just always on the road or in the studio. Mm-hmm. And I don't think we knew how important all that stuff was back then. Like now, it's all about the endorsements. Product, it's all about product the product placement. You can't even make money making <laughs> records no more. It's That's just to placement. promote your. You know, your clothing line. Your <laughs> exactly. but didn't you have a, I don't know if this room, did you have a sitcom at one point? Uh, got presented a sitcom? We did or? a pilot for a sitcom, but okay. it didn't get and, picked okay. up. Ahead of our time, they couldn't see yeah. salt. The, the way it was with Salt and Pepper was with kids at the time. It was one what everyone's doing, doing now. Right. Is, we were always yeah. ahead of the game. Did y'all write your own lyrics? Some, Some of them, yeah. We wrote Shoop, Independent. I um, produced and wrote um, Expression. Mm-hmm. Um, and a few more songs, but not all. What about What Herbie. a Man? I wrote on What a Man. Mm-hmm. Did y'all guys get got back in the day? Was the contracts horrible or, or were they better? Yeah. Yeah, got got. Yeah. Did y'all see that? Like, we got? didn't get got like that. Okay. Nah. No, we got lucky got because. Lucky got. <laughs> 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 could have been worse. Got, it could have been worse because it was right at that. We got. We, we found we was we known. Woke up. We woke up right when we had our big deal. Mm-hmm. So, and I knew it. I kept saying it. I'm like, this ain't right. Well, I always knew my contract was right. I didn't know why. You're Jamaican. I'm Jamaican. <laughs> and she knows. I was like, you know Herbie, not Herbie was like, <laughs> Herbie was like, because I was like, we should sign this. And Herbie was like, if you don't sign this, you know, you ain't gonna be right. this girl. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, but. 
And then later on, um, I spoke to someone else. It was actually M- MC Hammond's brother, Louis Burrell. Yeah. And I remember he was like, what's your points? What you getting? What you got? You selling all these millions? I mean, he was breaking. I'm like, well, this is what I'm getting. We getting three cent, and, you know, points, like right. paintings. He's like, you supposed to be getting this. I'm like, that's not what I heard. You know? I, he said, let me tell you something. You go in there, you tell them this, and they're going to tell you this, but you stand your ground. And you th- all this whole thing he gave me, I always say that to him. And I went into the management and went to everyone with the exact spiel, gave it to them, laid it out. And then we got Grubman and Endursky. <laughs> then we got <laughs> a lawyer. And then our deal and changed. And got us our right money. So we did get lucky right at the right time. And right. then we went to court, won our case. Everything. Wow, good wow. for you. And we so, got sued one you know, yep. one hour case. Yeah. So. Are you guys doing a biopic also, is what I'm hearing? Well, we got two offers from mm-hmm. a, from some studios and yeah. so that's something that we're talking about. Oh, and I watch that. Yeah, yeah so possibly. It. If it's right, because it that could make you it's or break you depending right. on yeah. some but of them just don't do it on whack. lifetime. Don't do it on no. lifetime. No. No. no, no. Don't do it on lifetime. It's, and it we, depends they on the money. They have a white girl playing salt and a black girl playing pepper. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. It also depends on the money because that's your legacy. You right. know, you're selling your whole legacy. Mm-hmm. Like it has to be financially. And I'm sure y'all would. We've been it holding out awesome. for so long because they always came up to us and wanted to do that story mm-hmm. and the movies at one time and all the you know the, like you said um i'm like and then after straight out of compton they really start coming because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's the female story that mm-hmm. hasn't really been done yet in hip-hop and, and we, we got, got some drama story. we got no some drama. we, we got drama of, that would uh, yeah. surprise you guys <laughs> yeah I read, I read pepper's book <laughs> so i read that about was, some that of was it. Just part her, of it. Yeah, just her drama. <laughs> yeah. It's my drama. <laughs> Why don't more women get recognized as greats when people discuss hip hop? Like when they discuss like the greatest groups and the greatest artists, it's all male driven. Because I think it's it's a very misogynistic, male driven, testosterone, bravado, <laughs> you know, kind of music. It's mm-hmm. an aggressive kind of music, and it it started with with guys. So I get that, you know. It's rare for a female to, to, you know, be able to penetrate that that wall. Pause. It's just like, it's yeah, word. I had it. You think a lot of artists from the late '80s are getting written out of rap history? Yeah, being forgotten about. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The pioneers, yeah. definitely. Um, and I'm sure that'll be us. Eventually, yeah. you know, I mean, that's just no, how it it's goes. not. It's, like, it's too late for that. I think that's that's right. solidified. Yeah. That ain't ha- not on my watch. I'm not, but having you know that. what? We, we're a Halloween costume, so I say mm-hmm. once you become a Halloween you're costume, good. You made, you made, I think you, you kind of made, made it, it. <laughs> like last the test of time. <laughs> Everybody's, and I mean, we got 90s babies in our audience now, like and we have 90s babies, right? So we're like, what are you people doing here? They we know like, every oh. song. <laughs> Salt and Pepper, we're like a cartoon, I think. <laughs> we're like oh, two no. cartoon characters. Well, Pepper, your daughter does reality, right? She's on the Yeah, show? she's on she's on Growing Up Hip Hop. Oh, I actually right. saw the first episode already. You saw it? The yes. I saw that you left her and went in the club because she couldn't get in. <laughs> she went to the club with her daughter. Her daughter, daughter, her daughter didn't have her ID. Is she 21? No, she's, she's like, not 21. She's she seven. Couldn't. She's Pepper was like, get in the car, bye. I was like, got a car service. <laughs> I'm going in. You already know the deal. I ain't you so don't. I'm not about to turn around and I'm all dressed. So you was trying to get her in the club illegally anyway. <laughs> hey, they give you wristbands now, don't you know that? Some places. Well, <laughs> but your daughter, but your daughter is an artist. So. You know them clubs that give you wristbands. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's but your daughter's right. an artist, so yeah, she's. I mean, artist. she's gonna have to be in clubs for that, not to drink. Just promote. If you go, go with your mom. She doesn't even drink. Right. She doesn't even curse. <laughs> well, you ain't heard it. No. <laughs> she really don't. She okay. really don't. That's your daughter that's that it. you have with Tretch, though, and I. Yes. Right. I call her yes. Trepper. Trevor. 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 She looked just like both of them. She Trevor. just morphs from minute to minute. One minute she's Pepper, one minute she's Tretch. But yeah. she gotta do music. She ain't got no choice. Acting too. There's someone acting. That's you and Tretch was like the original hip hop superstar couple before, like Beyonce and Jay and Swiss and Elise. And, uh, <laughs> you said Swiss and Elise. Yeah, they, they said that. little bunny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what we used to call them. Do you, do you feel like y'all cashed out all the way? Or do you feel like like either right now y'all trying to catch up and get the money y'all should have made or y'all just trying to solidify a legacy? Um, Good question. Both. But both. Honest, to be honest with you, both. Um, I mean, 
<clears throat> you better talk on that I mean, mic, so. But you know I'm what? You, I mean, we're making. I'm getting too relaxed. <laughs> I mean, we're we made a lot of money, which was good for coming from where we came from mm -hmm. and being the female at that time and a platinum. And like I said, we did get our just do with our labels and everything like that. But it's still money to be made, of course. Like Geico out here. commercials and. Yeah, I mean, we did the commercials dope, yo. Yeah, I, like I mean, we still got a commercial running in or, or, um, Australia now <laughs> for Kia. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're working on a push it line of workout clothing. Mm -hmm. And the motto is push it is more than a dance record. It's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to push it. Right. Everything, everything. everything. Obstacles, haters, everything. So we're working on a whole lot of things that we believe is going to materialize very easily I just think that's us. good for mm -hmm. us and you know for our music and everything to be able to to um get in bed with all these different products and you know and all these things that's happening for all you know the musicians the rappers everything they we would have never seen nothing like this yeah. you know <laughs> I'm telling you we just and now we're like it's like number one for us like, and I respect the dollar I'm frugal <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm invested. I'm if I can walk away from this right now and be good. That's of course I want to keep it going, but you know, I don't believe in all the cars and the jewelry and I've never been like that. I've always thought in my mind about the day this would be over. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I But it's not rock. over though. Yeah, far from, but, far from but over, like. it's far from over, yeah. but I you it's good. You know how artists come out, yeah. they spend it all. Mm -hmm. They think it's going to last forever. You never know. I didn't know at that time. Right. Mm -hmm. We still be rocking thirty years later. So I just, I'm just saying, money wise, I just went hard just, on investing and saving. That's great. And yada, yada, so, yada. I just feel like female MCs. I don't know if people pay enough homage to Stone Pepper. I don't remember female rappers before yeah. But you know what? They like you got my girl Missy. Like, I mean, there's oh, lots of. Oh yeah, Roxanne Shante. You right. Yeah. That's but then there's like, yeah. I think it's also yeah. growing up in New York, Salt and Pepper was such a huge deal. Like, even for me big, right yeah. now sitting here, it's exciting because Salt and Pepper's here. You could have <laughs> never told me when I was a little kid that one day I'll be sitting here talking to Salt and Pepper because yeah. that was like the biggest thing. Yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> we got so many stories from, from our fans. Like, they got in trouble for cutting their hair. Mm -hmm. They got in trouble for singing Color, Push It. Coloring their hair. <laughs> for coloring their hair, for singing Let's Talk About Sex. Or even dancing to Push It. People, even yeah. dancing when I was little, people used to get in trouble for that. Like, oh I know God. a girl got a Push It scar. She was dancing to Push It. <laughs> push and her scar. mother's um, a break front, that's a whole word. Uh, what is it? China cabinet. <laughs> Fell over. Cut on a head. She's hey, like, she, this is my push it scar. Push it my scar. scar. Everybody got a push it story, though. Everybody. People give birth to push it. Why? I have That's no hilarious. idea. That's hilarious. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Every time she says push yeah. it, you give it a little push. Yeah, they I'm, have the cards now. You know, like the little Hallmark. I need some soft music. That might be I'm a giving joke birth. <laughs> have them playing doctors, and it's called push it, but they're like doctors that deliver babies <laughs> in the hospital. <laughs> No. And let's talk no. about sex. Like, <laughs> did you guys do Let's Talk About Sex because it was going to be like a campaign or did it turn into a campaign? It turned into a campaign. <laughs> it turned into Let's Talk About AIDS. Um, we were still trying to do a, you know, a conscious song, Let's Talk About Sex, and um, you know, enlighten and you know, awareness to you know, HIV and everything. And so when people, like it was Peter Jennings, right? Yeah. Um, he contacted us and was like, oh, you know, he, he heard his daughter listening to Let's Talk About Sex. He was like, what are you listening to? Mm -hmm. And so when he realized the, the lyrics to it, then he said, then he thought like, oh, let's do, let's talk about AIDS. That's a big jump. So, yeah. Let's talk about sex first. <laughs> 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 well, about no down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a jump. But the lyrics to Let's Talk About Sex actually are about being responsible. responsible. Right. Yeah. Talk about, about all the good things and, and the, the bad, bad things. things. Let's just talk about it. Let's <laughs> right. have a conversation. But when people just heard let's talk about sex, it was like, ooh, oh. So, yeah. it was, hey, it worked. <laughs> so the cookbook and stuff is out now? Working on it. Working on or, it. The cooking it. Okay. show. Cooking show. The pilot. cooking show, the pilot. It's a, it's a pilot. December 17th. <laughs> mm hmm and so it's not green lighted it's not yet. Green, but so it's, watch y'all. They're gonna show. Okay, so it's December seventeenth. <laughs> yeah, we all gonna watch on the cooking channel. Yeah, ten thirty. Yeah. Yeah. With DVR it or whatever you have to do now. Yeah. The biopic, we're still waiting to figure that out. Right. Yes. Okay. The, the tours. clothing line is being designed. Okay. Touring all the time. Touring all the time. Raising kids still. Sheesh. Doing a whole <laughs> lot of stuff. And Pepper, you just celebrated your birthday. Happy yes. Birthday. Thank you. Thank you. The, the whole month now it's over. Twenty one again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and growing up hip hop starts January seventh. Yes, with your daughter. With yeah. my daughter. 
Are y'all yeah. kids friends with each other and stuff? Yes. They, they grew up together. Mm-hmm. They used they, to have crushes on each other. Oh. <laughs> You're like, no, that's your weird. sister. <laughs> I know, right. That's your brother. <laughs> your sister. All right. Well, but, we appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.